a brand new series. The most sophisticated AI on the planet. Daddy, can we get her, please? Think about your family, about Maggie. I'm sorry. This is the world now. Oh, what have you done to my heart? Should I prepare dinner? Not the same as mom. You smile and my heart. Suffering is not productive, Nick. I can help you. It seems you have quite its own desire. Alice, I have a wife. your medication it would be quite easy to lose consciousness and slip under the water imagine how upset nick would be if you die what's wrong she won't live long nick but i figured out a solution you do so much for everyone let me do this for you we might be take over the world but we didn't stop it. The things we've been doing, we can't do it anymore. I can't let that happen. No one can find out about this. Maybe if I had your heart, you would love me the way he loves you. Spacecraft Odyssey One. So I don't know if you heard, but I'll be leaving town soon. Billion and a half miles. No big deal. We're awake. Good. Hibernation affecting you at all? Gentlemen, we have been in space for nearly two years. way to Titan. Titan, it's the most Earth-like world we can reach. But to get there, we'll need Jupiter's gravity for a speed boost. You have two more hibernation cycles before the slingshot. Houston, we have a situation. The impact represents no real danger. What if the whole system is compromised? If we attempt a slingshot, we get blasted into deep space. Maybe the drugs used to induce hibernation can produce side effects. You understand me now. She's not here on the ship. I know that. If sometimes, including confusion and disorientation. See that I'm mad. Your imagination is playing a cool trick on you. How do you know this? But I just Everything around us is screaming, turn around! And you're about to blast us even further into space. Warning, warning, system overload. Ah. Power division! I'm just a soul. You're sending us all to die! Flying into the light is a survival instinct. The best escape route tends to be towards the light. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. I don't know what to do. I don't even know who I am anymore. It's been what, 10 months since your accident? There he is. Hey, I'm Frank Shaw. This is Dougie Slater. We're from Homicide. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I said put the Take gun down and get back! You need to start preparing yourself for the possibility of a more profound loss in the future. I hear you. See? I hear you. Because I'm not deaf. I can't do what I used to. 
Why, what are you going to do? Are you going to walk away? I'd have a lead on those Hyde Park hits. What they see? We don't know yet. She's deaf. I'm not an interpreter. You help me, I help you. That's what partners do. She saw a, 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 a fight. She filmed it. Sorry, uh, again? Thanks, you. Cash, thanks. He did good. Let's make it look amateur. Go. Did anyone else see the video? No. Sorry, man. Gun on the floor. Take the stairs. Go down now. Not that bloody. Everyone's got everything on the line here. Find it. You got it. Officer Shelley. Will. Officer Brogan here is gonna show you the ropes. Play nice. I really just got one piece of advice. Don't kill anybody unless you really have to, because that shit is messy. This is Providence, man. Nothing happens here. Call a car two, call a car two. Police, come out with your hands up! Sorry, ma'am, you gotta stay calm, okay? Fuck you! I'll show you calm, you fucker! Go to sleep, fucker! Oh, fuck me! What the fuck happened, Will? It was my number one piece of advice! <sighs> Don't kill anybody unless you have to! We should get out of this. We make it look like a murder. We clean our tracks. We take the money and pin it on someone else. Have you done this before? Ah, uh, no. I mean, I, I, I... Sir, you notice anything that was missing? Place is a mess, but no, not one thing. Where is the money? I don't have the money. I came to your house to kill your wife, but your wife was already killed. Somebody else killed her? Well, that's just awful. What services did you provide for Mrs. Chetlow? Mostly massage. Tell them about the dancing. What kind of dancing? Or well, sometimes, you know. Like... What kind of son did I raise? Shut up, Ma. Tell anybody. Hey, babe, don't let on that you know anything. I just want to see if we can trust him. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Tomorrow night, we go get the money and take off. Listen, Paige, just be careful, right? Maybe it's not possible to live a good life. But you can know that you're not good. Which is better than believing you are. People are dead. That's too much loss for it to just be a coincidence. We're good people, and good things happen to good people. I know who you are. Who am I? Cutthroat Bill. Hey. My brother's gonna come looking for me. He can't save you. We dug your grave. Now pay me. Or what?
Bill stole my sister. That fella told me he'd help. There's a bounty on her, $10,000. You work for me three ways on the bounty. I say what, I say when. You ever shoot a man? No, I'm a Christian. I knows how many this cutthroat has. Three against now. Two against. You're a Christian. Where is she taking me? The ticket. Are you gonna kill me when we get there? You're lucky I saved you. If you do find her, it's probably not the sister you remember. What if she don't want to come with us? She might have forgot. <laughs> I was starting to like you. You home so scary. How come nobody put a gun to my head? You're the littlest man I ever seen. You're the ugliest. The so-called bag man is a figure common to almost every culture. Curiously, his methodology is remarkably consistent. It is said he eats children, preferring to prey on those that are nice. He feeds off the child's fear and anxiety, luring them to his cave with toys or candy. And when the child is at their most terrified, he steals them away in his bag. Batman? It's an old spooky story. Dad used to tell me and Liam to keep us in line. I was convinced he was tapping on my window. Ever since we moved back home, I just get this bad feeling. It's about Jake getting snatched. You okay, Jake? He really does exist. No matter what you try and run or hide, he always knows where to find you. I'm John Lawler. I was undercover to finally take Kwong's operation down. We were getting it all on camera. We can still solve this. The confidential informants come forward. Just need one weekend. What's the handoff? I pay. Absolutely not. After what happened last time, go relax. The drugs will still be here on Tuesday, and so will Quan. All right. Joey, my love, where were you today? My trial started. Ready? <laughs> Who's the snitch? That's an excellent question. I can finally take him down. I don't know why you married Kwong. Sometimes it's easier to forget a past. Joey, it's been 15 years. Whoever broke your heart is not coming back. 
What are you doing here? How did you find me? Mom, who's this? Mom, you have a son? John, call and send him in right now. You bring me my wife. You kill John Mahler. You're in trouble now. Seriously, who is this guy? I see you haven't changed a bit. Everyone, shut up and let me try. There's a between you and me! Ah! I'm not gonna lose you again. You're supposed to be dead. You have a minute, kid, and your mom will take care of that. What are you doing? We here? forgot our keys. What? You're stealing cars and he's punching everyone? Who are you people? Get in. Where's me your mother? I'm neither gay nor bisexual. I'm straight and heterosexual. I'm neither gay nor bisexual. I'm straight and heterosexual. You will be free, Lee. You to thank me. Lord, grant this boy grace. I believe we're dealing with a Ganymede. What is it? The Ganymede is an unrepentant homosexual with demonic forces that overtake others as sex urges. Hey, Fletcher looks tragic. That's why he's hot. He's still a lean to me. Why have you been hanging around Kyle Culper? Baby, do you like him? You need to be careful with him. Not everybody enjoys the support that you do from your mom. Lee, do you have reprobate thoughts about the Culper boy? Do you know what that boy is? I don't want to go into that house. How many signs do you need, Kyle? Let it go. That's not him. There's no such thing as a homosexual. He's confused, and he's got demons. We had a deformed child! We don't have to be scared of him. You surrender to God, but you live in hell. Let us pray. Look what you've done to this holy God! Now you go home and you think about it being in hell. There's something going on here. I need to understand it. Like you do. It's exactly why you shouldn't be here. You might say a demonic entity falls under our expertise. Crooked man's waiting on you. That's interesting. Oh, you didn't want me to squash? No. This question's good. I heard tales about him all my life. Most just called him the Crooked Man. I thought Big Red wasn't scared of anything. Oh, I know some of you afraid of. You hear something? Your road ends in the dark like mine. Let's just keep on coming. It ain't even really the good. Come on, snakes, let's rattle. Let not your horns be troubled. By the way, they know not. In the crooked things straight. <laughs> you doubt the power of prayer, son? Just in case.
police investigator Henry Lando. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. I need you to help me find that woman. First day, my dear. Not good. The closer you come to where we are now, the amount of people that have encountered the woman increases. When are we gonna see some action? Why did you bring us here? You are here because your family belongs here. That's a fucking weird way to put it. Feels so good. I need you to come to me now, my angel. Watch out! <laughs> what did she want from me? If I were you, I wouldn't want to get hurt even more. I didn't choose to drill here. She didn't choose to drill here. We were told to drill here. And if you find nothing of value, well, we'll find something down there. Is it methane? No, no, it just smells organic. Give it another go. Hey, whoa, 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 stop. Holy shit. Looks like we hit the metal log. Trouble we'll grab some samples. We just found this guy in a fucking ditch in the ground. I saw something coming out from his nose. It's organic. Living tissue. Take it out of me! Whatever was in him. Went in me. I saw that. In a porno. You just... <laughs> DNA-wise, there are cephalopods. You're saying there's a giant clam under our feet. Nature is always finding ways to renew itself. Don't you see? We are the monsters. <laughs> You are before this court today to be sentenced on 53 counts of murder. What am I doing here? You don't remember Grayson attacking you? Okay, you need to hear me. Get him off of her! Says Grayson believed he could predict who would take part in a chain of events that would bring about the end of the world. And by eliminating those people, you can't kill. You would break that chain and prevent it from coming Armageddon. I'm not turning my back on her. Not again. Hey. Any reason that Grayson would have attacked you specifically? What are you suggesting? Perhaps he thought that you were. A believer? Why does it need to be me? I don't want to. Just leave me alone. Did I just hear you talking to someone? Who would I be talking to? What did Grayson say to her? Are you in fear of your own safety? in the basement. I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> the 
If I ask you to run, then... You have to. Spore clouds have been sighted throughout the country. 80% of the world population will lose their lives before we ever find a solution. We need to get this to the bunker. No, no, no! Get away from there! I'm a scientist. I know what I'm doing. Drop your no, 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 no! I have gathered an extremely competent team of scientists. And we will find a solution. When you fight, fight until the fight is over. Initiate evacuation protocol. Why do we have to fight? We are under fire. Welcome to paradise. To a new age. To the future. We will find a way through this. Mayday, Mayday, this is the Orca. We're in a storm, we need help. Dad, where's the sea? Mayday, Mayday, the ocean has gone four passengers. Do you have any idea what happened? We've also got the magnetic poles. The ocean retreated and submerged the main lines. Ben! ben! Last time it happened was more than 700,000 years ago. The sea could return. <laughs> this is going to be really violent. What is this? Arthropods from the Abyss. It's coming. la sœur du cosmonaute Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé exactement On peut pas disparaître comme ça sans laisser de traces J'ai une graine dans l'oreille. <rire> tu me manques. Franck Franck est désactivé. Laissez-moi lui parler. D'abord, tu dois nous faire venir. Je vous fais venir ici et vous, en échange, vous faites revenir mon frère Oui. Nous avons besoin de toi et tu as besoin de nous. Ils ne se rendront compte de rien. C'est quoi votre plan Une invasion, un truc comme ça Personne ne saura jamais qu'on est parmi vous. Maggie, hi Who is that? They're flowers. Are they for me? No, I I brought them for the house. Isn't there supposed to be a nurse around or something? Hey, oh! She's around. Oh! You seem to have quite a pep in your step considering the circumstances. I'm here for my sister. I don't need any jeans, money. I'm doing just fine on my own. Come on. <laughs> You know you've been here an entire day and haven't asked how he's doing or... How's he doing? Come on. I'm not happy. I know you're not happy, but you're not sad. You are just a moody man boy. Are you like this with everybody or... Ow! What the... You're helpless. I think it's nice that you're trying. How sweet. I can be sweet with you. I think you're very attractive. I think... 
Tomorrow is not guaranteed. That's why you guys are here. And to have a goodbye while well, he can still reciprocate it. Hey, Mr. Ryan, how are you? You miss this place at all? Uh, no. You guys are so much alike. Who? You and your dad. Out of trouble. There's a good kid in there trying to get out. You at that? Be safe. Where? Bro, you're right. You're fine. You're fine. You're right. Newcastle's basically near Scotland. I can take you halfway. Come on, Nathan. I owe you. What are you doing? We need to calm down. A bit of fun. It's gonna be a waste of a journey otherwise. Where are you going to in Scotland then? I'm gonna visit my sister. Bro, did you see that? What? There's like a big tractor. It's like the book I used to read as a little kid. Red, red tractor. The little red tractor. Little red, tra <laughs> little red tractor, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What brings you up here? I'm, I'm going up to Scotland and he's uh, just dropping something to my mum. He's doing that. Come on in, bro. <laughs> but it's freezing. <laughs> so this is England, yeah? Yeah. Mad. Nathan, we can't do that. I didn't run away. You know, I left before I went wanted. Everything in my life is out of control. <laughs> of course she don't even want me. Of course she wants me. I just want to see if someone cared. You're not a bad person, Nathan. But you don't know me, sir. I do. You don't. You've got a good heart. Bloody hell. It's beautiful, isn't it?